Today I'm going to talk to you about how to finish the back end pieces of your tapestry. So these are all finished tapestries. And I want to note that before you do any finishing techniques on a tapestry that you should let it sit for at least 24 hours after you've taken it off the loom, after you've cut it off the loom. That's really important because tapestries do change shape slightly after they've rested, so you want to let it do its thing before you um, sew or tie anything tight. For a tapestry like this, which I've made at 12 ends per inch, it's a fairly, it's a really densely woven piece. Um, I tend to just tie ends that appear close together. I, I just tie them together using a square knot and then I cut them around half an inch from that square knot. And that's, it's as simple as that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I do when I'm weaving with um, a piece, when I'm finishing a piece that has um, a less dense ends per inch. So the weft is a thick weft. This is woven at six ends per inch. This side area is woven at 12 ends per inch. So the denser stuff I tend to just tie in a knot like the last example, whereas the thicker stuff the knot will make a fat bump at the back of your tapestry. Pretty three-dimensional bump there. So I tend to instead sew it into a warp groove. What I do is I thread it and then I go to the warp next to the warp groove next to where this came from or you can go two over I usually go one or two over and I just put my tapestry needle into the warp it doesn't go through to the other side see this is where the needle is but we don't see it on the other side it just goes between and pull it through it doesn't have to be really tight. You might even want to make sure there's a little bit of leeway. And then I just cut. And you want to also make sure that the end that you're about to sew in is going into a section that's of the same density that it originated so you don't you don't want to put this huge thick yarn into a section that's made with yarn that's less dense because it might make a bump that's visible so let's just put this where it belongs And then in the case of this, where you don't want to be putting the thick yarn into a different section, you can just change the direction. So you don't have to be going down when you're entering your yarn into the piece. You can go up as well. It doesn't make a difference. 